Sean here, an application engineer at Daytac Instruments. In this multimedia tutorial, we'll show you how you can acquire pressure data on the cheap using a Daytac Instruments model DI-1100 starter kit and a 0 to 100 PSI pressure sensor, Daytac Instruments part number 2361-100. We'll begin by connecting the pressure sensor to the DI-1100. First we'll connect the red and black wires to the DC supply, and then we'll connect the signal output to analog channel 1 on the DI-1100. Now we'll configure WINDAC to display pressure. Since we're using a 0 to 100 PSI pressure sensor with a 0.5 to 4.5 volt output, We'll choose Engineering Unit Settings from the Edit pull-down menu, enter 4.5 for upper level volts, 100 for upper level EU, 0 0.5 for lower level volts, and 0 for lower level EU. We'll change our EU tag to PSI. As you can see, WINDAC now displays pressure in PSI. Since we know that our pressure is never going to rise above 50 PSI, we'll choose Limits from the Scaling pull-down menu, enter 50 as the top limit and 0 as the bottom. As we increase the pressure, we can see the curve in WINDAC. With a $59 data logger and a $30 pressure sensor, assuming that your aim isn't to acquire precision pressure data, but you need to know how quickly and to what degree pressure is changing, this tutorial demonstrates that you don't need to spend big bucks to acquire pressure data.